the easiest way to tune your guitar is with an electronic tuner like this one. It's got a meter that when it's in the middle it tells you that the string you're playing is in tune. It's also good to be able to tune your guitar by ear because if you don't have an electronic tuner or if the tuner's out of batteries or if you're in a live situation where you're playing live and you need to be able to tune quickly then you want to be able to tune by ear. So the first thing you need is a reference tone. Now we're going to start with the A string, which is the fifth string, and play it open. Now how do I make sure that this open string is in tune? One thing you can do is you can get a tuning fork, and this is an A tuning fork, which you can tell it's an A tuning fork because it says A440. 440. 440 happens to be the frequency of the string, and that's how you know it's an A tuning fork. You can get these at any music store. So take the tuning fork, or you can just listen to my A string and tune up to it, and tap it lightly on a hard surface. So I'm going to tap it on my knee, and then press it against the hollow body of the guitar here. And then you can hear that, that tone. And now I'm going to play the fifth, open fifth string while listening to that tone. And it sounds a little bit out of tune. Now that sounds pretty good. Now notice what I did. I took the tuning fork, tapped it against the guitar, and then I turned the tuning key so that I loosened the string. You always want to go down in pitch and tune up into the note because what happens is the nut here tends to grip the strings so if you tighten the strings too much or you, or you tune from coming down into the string what can happen is some of the tension gets held up here in the head of the guitar, this area, and over time it can start to release some of that tension and loosen the strings and it'll tend to throw the strings out of tune. So always turn up into the tone that you're trying to get to. So what, what I did here is I took the tuning fork, played the string, turned down the tuning key, the knob, and I'm turning up into the tone. And I'm just listening until the two tones sound about equal. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now the next step, once you have that fifth string in tune, you want to tune the rest of the strings based off of that fifth string. So the first step is take your first finger, put it on the sixth string, fifth fret, and you hear that sounds out of tune. Now play the two together, the open fifth string and the sixth string with your first finger down on the fifth fret, and turn up into the tone. Another way that you can tell that the two are matched or equal is there's a vibrating thing that happens. It might not be possible for this to come across on the video, but if you listen closely, you can actually hear when the strings are out of tune, they vibrate. When they're in tune, there's no more vibration. Okay, now the next step is take your first finger, put it on the fifth string, fifth fret, and now you're going to tune that open fourth string. Okay, 
next step is take your first finger, put it on the fourth string, fifth fret, and play that open third string and the fourth string together. Okay, now this is the only kind of tricky one, is you want to take your first finger and put it on the third string, fourth fret, instead of the fifth fret. And play the open second string and the third string together. And then finally move back up to the fifth fret, so you'll be on the second string, fifth fret, and play the open first string and the second string together. And then tune that open first string up into the tone. And then finally, if you know any chords, just play a chord and see if it sounds right. Another thing you can do is play the sixth string and the fifth string, just play those together, and if they sound like they're in tune because they're the same note, then you should be in tune. <laughs>